Hello lovely crafters, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're not being bored enough with my another chair video. So, this is the very typical chair I've been making for several times, so I think I can make it in my eyes closed. But since somebody requests me to make a dining chair with arms, well, alright, I'm gonna make it one more time. This is it, fine dining chair. First, let's talk about the main material. To make an elegant look, I'm choosing satin or stretch velvet like this. Stretch fabric is always easy to work with. And then, we're gonna need ball chain like this. You can pick the gold one or the white pearly one. And then we're gonna need half pearl beads like these. Choose the tiniest size you can find. Look, they match perfectly. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the pattern without printer, it's so easy. Just follow this measurement. And then when you're ready with the measurement, try to draw something like this with your hand. Don't worry, no shape can go wrong. And here it is, pattern A. Then make cardboard pieces like these. And here's a little tips about how to cut a piece of cardboard into a curvy line. Hold your cutter like holding a pen and just cut it just like drawing it like this. Do it bit by bit. Alright, let's put them all together using hot glue. Just remember, this will be the back part of the chair, so I'm just gonna make a little mark so I won't forget. So you won't miss anything while gluing this part. Okay, there will be a little measurement gap like this. Don't worry, just cut another piece of cardboard like this, make it fit and glue them together. Like this. Next, we're gonna need some felt fabric to cover some ugly texture of the cardboard. So, don't mind the color. And then cut the fabric of your choice to make the cover of your chair into about this size and let's cover it start here and just do the rest as tidy as you can.
and let's do the head and the seat part. So you have to remeasure it to find a perfectly fit size of carton like this. So this is my size. Yours might be different. Just remember not to make it too tight. And then cut a piece of thin sponge into the same size and another into the smaller size like this. And then put them all together using hot glue. Now, you can glue the seat pad to the chair, but later to the head because I'm gonna do something about it. So, make this dots pattern on a thin paper, like this. So, this is the center dot. Put it here, and let's make the holes using sharp pencil. If the pencil marks not clearly seen enough, you can redo it using marker. It's gonna be easy on a light color fabric, but I think it's gonna be trickier on a darker one. I think white chalk will do for a dark color fabric. Okay, let's continue to sew the dots. Just as simple as this. Do it several times till it's secure enough and you're happy with it. And then put the hot glue on to make it secure. Wait it to dry a little bit and cut the thread and finish the rest. And then let's put these half pearl beads as the buttons. And always remember to use pointy gun while working with teeny tiny things like this. Okay, the head part is done. You can glue it on to the chair. So here's a little tips. I'm using a thin ruler to make it less wrinkling like this. Because even my nails won't be thin enough. Okay, let's continue to the arm part. Of course, it's not gonna be fit anymore, so we have to reshape it like this. Do it bit by bit till you're happy with it. pattern is settled, let's continue to the sponge pieces and the fabric pieces. Okay, this will be the trickiest part to glue. Glue it carefully only to the part that you can reach. And then let's continue to fix the edge part.
don't worry, we'll cover this ugly joint later. So this is the cover will be. Start it from here to here and always remember to use pointy gun because it's small enough. And the whole body part is done, let's continue to the legs. Just use this simple 7 cm wood towel. Just make sure that the leg position is right from any angle before the glue gets dry. And then for the back legs, you need to make an ankle like this, just a little bit, just like every chair should be. Make it like this. Our fine dining chair is done. I try to make another design using satin fabric and gold hardware. And this is how it looks like. So this is the difference between stretch fabric and non-stretch fabric. Both looking good in this area. But it looks different in this area. With a non-stretch fabric, it's kind of difficult to avoid this kind of wrinkle. So I think stretch velvet fabric is still my champion. Anyway, which one do you like? Satin or velvet? Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comment down below and see you in my other video, bye!